Hello, welcome back again. Yeah, we all know that it's no more news. The Finland joining NATO will give them an edge against external attacks. But then, what does Finland have to bring to the table? All right, we're gonna find out about that right now. So today I bring I bring another video, and this one's about the impact of Finland on NATO. So. Don't hesitate to let me know what you think about this video right in the comment section and what do you think they are possibly going to bring to the table. And if there are more details to this video than portrayed, please don't hesitate to put them right down in the comment section. You know I love to reply to your comments. And please do keep your recommendations posted. I really appreciate that too. So without further delay, let's dive in. You could describe it by saying SISU, which is mental resilience and readiness to cope with harsh conditions, and still you are able to continue. You say that Ketju on yhtä vahva kuin sen heikoin lenkki, and that means that the chain is as strong as its weakest link. So we want to make sure that our chain is very durable. Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine not only changed the security landscape in Europe, it also acted as a catalyst for Finland's Definitely. NATO membership, which was confirmed in April 2023. We decided to join because we saw that the membership would increase our security to this new environment that is for us. That's the very basic, simple reason. But from a military and geographic standpoint, what does NATO membership mean for the country itself? And what does Finland bring to the NATO alliance? We share the same neighbor and the Ukrainians. It means that also we can provide some experience. Well, guys, this is a whole lot of work, you know. I mean, the military really deserves some credit there, you know, living your whole life out there, just trying to take care of yourself. You know, having a sense of freedom that you can actually breathe free air. They really deserve some credit, really. Wow, it's not an easy job. All you do is, you can't even sleep with your eyes closed. You just have to be there watching all day, all night, you know, just to keep an eye and not let invaders, you know, invading your country because when you snoop, you lose. Wow, they really deserve some credit. That's great. Russians, they are behaving in, in our neighborhood. We have a 1,300 kilometers uh, long eastern border with Russia. That is something we have to always keep, keep in mind. Even as a member of NATO, Finland is responsible for defending its own country. Finland's membership of NATO effectively doubled the size of the border between NATO allies and Russia. Yeah, that's a good spirit. That's a great spirit. Well equipped and with military training, the Finnish border guard operates under the Ministry of Interior. However, if a crisis was to occur here, they could be integrated into the Finnish Defence Forces and could therefore be the first line of defence. No, kyllä minun mielestä on tosi tärkeää, että se on valvottu on. Se pidän tärkeää. No, se on olla itsenäisessä Suomessa ja sen takia. Eli haluaa, että Suomi on jatkossakin itsenäinen maan. And while there is no immediate threat on the border, this proximity to Russia is what prompted Finland to abandon their neutral status and join the alliance. But membership in this region works both ways. If you think about the, our location yeah. in high north region and also the Baltic Sea region, both uh, areas wow. with significant strategic value, and we are one of the stakeholders in this area, so it is important. Finland has a population of just 5.5 million. 
However, the wartime strength of its armed forces is a substantial 280,000. And the reason for that is its comprehensive conscription service. Wow, that's a great spirit. It's a group which combines the whole Finnish nations. Everybody has been living in tents with other Finnish guys. Everybody has been taking part in these exercises, having field rations, getting cold, getting wet, and fighting together. According to the Finnish constitution, every citizen is obligated to take part in national defense. All men between 18 and 60 must complete military service, and women can participate on a voluntary basis. Inte on aina ollut mun haave, siis mä oon pienestä asti aina haaveilu, että jotenkin kun iso vanhemmat tai niin paappa varsinkin kertonut tarinoita sen omista kokemuksista Suomen niin kuin armeijassa, niin tuli semmoinen fiilis, että vitsi, että mäkin haluan lähteä. Ja jotenkin muutenkin semmoinen niin maanpuolustustahto, että kyllä mä niin kuin täällä haluan olla. We have seen the increasing number in willingness uh, to defend the country after the war started in Ukraine. The numbers were high already before, but now all the people, men and women, are more willing to do something for his or her country. Finland also has one of the largest artillery capabilities in Europe, with an arsenal of approximately 1,500 weapons. We have a modern system of uh, far-reaching joint fires, but the main essence of our defense system and extra value for NATO is our capabilities to fight a long-lasting warfare in deep, deep forest area. Finnish joining to NATO increases the safety and security in, in Europe and especially in the Baltic Sea region. Finland's location is one of the nations bordering the Baltic Sea, and with the Gulf of Finland an important hub for trade and transport, Finland's navy needs to perform a variety of roles. Okay. Yeah, that's that's true though. That's a great one there. You know, I did a previous video. I think that's a week ago about um, NATO allies training their personnel to survive in cold weather, and I I discovered that their personnel from U.S. and other NATO um countries who came for the training as well and i was like wow so failing joining nato ha also has an impact on it it's not just the natives giving them an edge above their and above their invaders okay but that's something really nice that's really great and now i get to find out that they can train people on on the water survival and of course the navy is taking care of the our vital sea line of communications and protection goals. As well as these primary functions, the Finnish Navy performs multiple tasks related to the protection and defense of the surrounding waters. This mine countermeasure ship is responsible for detecting, identifying and neutralizing underwater explosive threats like sea mines. Previous wars have proven that the Baltic Sea and Gulf of Finland is very easily mineable. We're talking about shallow waters, rocky bottoms, very hard sound profile. Conditions are very hard for mine hunting. And that's what we're good at. And that, that is something that we, we can bring to the NATO allies. As well as protecting the Finnish coastline from the sea, it is also protected from the air. And the backbone of the Finnish Air Force is its fleet of 62 F-A-18 Hornet jet fighters. Yeah. We need to be ready 24-7 for the identification missions, mainly at the Gulf of Finland and, and Baltic Sea. So that's how we do it. That includes wow. air surveillance, uh, which means the recognized air victim, which the Finnish Air Force is providing for the, all the services in the Finnish Defense Forces. The Finnish Air Force has wow. been trained and operated alongside That's a huge the one. partners, but since Finland's accession into NATO, that cooperation wow. has been as they integrate into Allied Air Defense Strategy. It's about doing the same thing on the same way to be effective together. And that is important that we can really work together closely sharing the tactics and yeah. the knowledge 
behind that is the wartime capability for air operations. And with the FA-18 set to be replaced with 64 powerful F-35 fighter aircraft starting in 2026, Allied air defences in the region will become even stronger and more integrated than they already are. Finland's defence forces are woven into the fabric of its society. Yeah. It's all about geography, it's about history, it's about population, how we think we can survive here. It's everything, I would say, in the Finnish defence solution. Bringing this comprehensive approach to NATO strengthens the alliance in vulnerable regions such as the High North and the Baltic Sea and reinforces the principle of collective okay. defense on NATO's eastern flank. For Finland, joining the alliance means they are protected under Article 5. An attack on one is an attack on all. Well, guys, that's really great. It's really great. It's really enlightening, you know, getting to find out more about the impact of Finland on NATO because usually I felt like they joining the NATOs was more on advantages on their path than that of the NATOs. But little did I know that they also had a lot to bring to the table and that's just incredible. All right, let me know what you think about this video right down in the comment section and do give it a thumbs up, share and do subscribe for more of my videos. And don't make this your last time. If you're new, I'm Lauren and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.